let us try to understand what happens if we place a dipole in a uniform external field. Okay? How will the uniform external field be drawn? First of all, they should be parallel lines equispaced, right? Because it is the spacing of the lines which decides the magnitude of the field that we have already done, right? So, so let us say, let us say our, our uniform external field is say something like this. Shown by equispaced parallel lines. Why that? Because if the lines were not equispaced, okay, then since the spacing tells you about the magnitude of the field, it means that the field here is stronger than the field here. Or if it was diverging like this, then you can automatically see okay that that field in these at these points they'll be they'll be lesser than the field at, at these points hence any uniform electric field is drawn as as a set of equispaced parallel lines right equispaced parallel lines now if that is the case and let us say, and let us say, our dipole is like this. Our dipole is like, like this. Okay. Obviously, this is this is no physical connection. I'm just showing it because this is the line connecting the two dipoles. Let the negative charge be here minus q and let the positive charge be here that is plus q okay let this be the positive charge now try to understand what is the force on the on the two charges okay what is the force on the two charges while understanding the dipoles you should always understand that these two charges are somehow fixed at their points, right? So, so you should imagine in your mind that maybe they are connected by a massless rod kind of thing. Why? They do not have the independence to, for example, this. On this charge, in what direction will the field be applying? This is the this is the field that is applied, right? This is the field, and, and, and hence uh, this is the field. Hence, this is the force that is experienced by this charge, and and this charge will experience a force in this direction. Right, equal and opposite. But these charges will not will not flow towards this or that direction. They stay there, okay, because, because they are held by some internal forces. For example, in case of water, in case of water molecule, it has got a non-vanishing, non-zero dipole moment. So what happens? Due to that dipole moment, due to that dipole moment, it, it is there. So until and unless you maybe break the hydrogens and oxygens, as you are asking, you said what happens if the field is so strong, that means the force due to the field is so strong that these charges get separated. We are not considering those points because those are, those are extreme conditions. And under extreme conditions, what will happen if somehow they get separated, then obviously they start flowing like independent charges. So the negative starts, starts moving towards the left and the positive starts moving towards the right as an independent charge. But when we are saying that it is a dipole, we mean that they have not separated as yet. Understand? Fine. <clears throat> so, so, if 
this is the center of the dipole okay what is the net force on the dipole okay net force on the dipole this force is this force is is qe this force is qe in that direction this force too is qe in this direction they are equal and opposite forces correct uh, and obviously the field is e so the net force on the dipole is the right force we we treat as plus and the left force we treat as minus so together they become zero okay the net force on the dipole is zero what does that mean hmm? since the net force on the dipole is zero its center of mass its center of mass will not move you 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 must have done this when you were in class 11th the the system of particles and rotational motion okay the system of particles and the rotational motion there if you have got so many <coughs> particles then we we had defined a thing called center of mass okay so if say this is m1 at x1 y1 z1 coordinates this is m2 at x2 y2 z2 coordinate this is m3 at x3 y3 z3 coordinate and say dot 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 this is this is mn at xn yn zn coordinate then what happens the the center of mass the x coordinate of the center of mass is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 plus mn xn divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 mn right <clears throat> for such a simple kind of thing where the masses are the same the charges are the same the center of mass is actually the center of this so the center of the line connecting the two charges the midpoint right now what happens if the charges have equal masses right even if they do not have equal masses it does not matter much at least in this case because because what we are bothered about is that the center of mass won't move okay the center of mass does not move okay so so this cannot move translationally that means it it will not have some linear motion this way this way that way there nowhere it will stay there does it mean that the charges also don't move no the charges will move okay however there is a torque acting on the system on the system since the line of action of since the line of action of forces so so if this this does not move okay this does not move then the whole thing will start rotating around that okay and these forces they are not passing through they are not passing through through that point whenever so 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 this point acts as the axis 
so whenever the line of action of the force does not pass through the through the axis of rotation then you develop a torque in the system what does the torque do the torque rotates things okay unlike the normal forces which tend to tend to move the things linearly the torque has a has a has a rotational impact it rotates the whole thing right so however there is a torque acting on the system since the line of action of forces does not pass through the axis of rotation which happens to be through the axis of rotation which happens to be the midpoint of the line connecting the the two charges okay fine this about this point okay so they do not pass through that see where is the line connecting them passes through it does not pass through that extend it that is the line of action of force it does not pass through that fine now how is the torque defined how is the torque defined if this is your axis and you have applied say some force say some force here then technically technically the torque is defined as what the torque is defined as r cross f where what is r r is the the position vector that connects you from the from the axis to the to the point the tail of this position vector has to be at the axis and the head has to be at the point of application of the force okay now force is being applied here now while taking the cross product what do you do you bring these two vectors the tails of these two vectors together understand you bring the tails of these two vectors together so what happens if i shift this if i shift this vector here parallel to itself then it somehow comes here so we are talking about the smaller angle between the two when the vectors are made co-initial what do i mean by that i mean by that that their tails have been brought together understand their tails have been brought together fine now what is that this becomes r into f into sine of this angle sine theta into n cap what is n cap n cap is the direction of the direction of the unit normal what is the unit normal unit normal is a vector unit normal a unit vector normal to the plane containing
to the two vectors r and f okay so and what is the direction because because this is the normal so there are two uh, this is the plane that contains the two vectors this white board is the plane which contains the two vectors so normal is either upward or pointing towards you or pointing into the board right how do you get which one is what what you do you take the first vector as you 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 keep this hinged you keep the tail fixed and try to rotate the first vector onto the second vector through a smaller angle through a smaller angle which is this so how will i go like that like that that is an anti clockwise rotation now if i give an anti clockwise rotation to a right handed screw okay uh, pass me that bottle and, and and what is a right handed screw all these say 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 the cap of this bottle it is it is threaded in a right handed screw manner right so what happens what if i rotate it anti clockwise i am rotating it like that in what linear direction will it move outwards towards you that linear direction is the direction of the of the of the r cross f of the n cap okay so n cap um, direction of n cap is given by the right hand screw rule right handed screws the normal screws that you come across okay they are right handed screws see it is something like that okay and and it is something like this okay so if i put a screw driver and and i start rotating it like that anti clockwise suppose suppose this screw is kind of embedded into this board okay this this screw is say embedded into this board okay and i put a screw driver and try to rotate it in this direction then what happens it will start coming out of the board right that is what the right handed screw rule is so so that is what so so it is an out currently in this situation it is an outward normal so torque is pointing in the outward normal direction so i show it by this this sign shows that that the that something it is a field or, or some vector that is coming out why that because it resembles an arrow an arrow the head of the arrow it looks like that the tail of the arrow would have looked like this there are fins on the arrow in the four directions right and and it is the representation of this so if you if you look if you are looking at it like this it means the arrow is somehow going like that and and the tail of the arrow is towards you so so this represents something going in this represents something coming out so torque direction though the whole thing the 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 sense of rotation is like this the direction of the torque is 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 kind of out of the board okay it is out of the board fine okay fine so so next we we simplify the this definition of torque and then then we'll go ahead right